Hello crafty friends, it's Jessica with Little Tortoise Crafts and today um, I just got my new fix scan mat in which I'm really excited about and I want to show you guys, I haven't used it yet so I wanted to kind of show you guys um, how to use it. So today to do that I'm going to do some stamping and I'm going to use my close to my heart inks, cranberry and topiary. i got my ink block and then I'm going to be using the stamp set of the month for October, which is home for the holidays. And this is very cute. It's got some great cards. This stamp set also is um it's also compatible with the close to my heart um art philosophy cartridge. Um and so there's five shapes on here that you can cut out with that cartridge and get a nice cut. But if you don't have a Cricut and you don't have the Close to My Heart cartridge, but you do have a Cameo, um, this is going to be a little bit of a workaround way. So, um, I think these will make some cute cards. I'm going to go ahead and start with this cute little bear. Go ahead and get that on the stamp block. Got that, and because it's new, I always just touch it with my fingers a little bit. Stamps are a little bit weird, and you have to kind of work work them in. So I'm gonna get um, the ink open, and I always stamp with the foam pad underneath. I feel like it gives me a better stamp when I do that. So I got that lined up underneath, and then I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. And when it's a new stamp, sometimes you gotta kind of wiggle it around a little bit, but then make sure you do the tap, tap, tap so that you're getting all the ink on there. So we got that. Then we're gonna go ahead and stamp that right on our paper. Stamp. Lift up. Beautiful. Okay, so there's that one. I like the Do Not Open Until Christmas one. I'm gonna do that in green as well. Just get it stamped off a little bit. That one right here. Okay, and let's see. I think I want to do the do not open till the 25th in the red as well. So I got that stamp cleaned off and I'm gonna do Red. There's that. Then, let's see, with red, I like this. It says Dreaming, Believing, and Wishing stamp. I'll do that in red. And like I said, these are the Close to My Heart um, October Stamp of the Month stamp set. And you can get this in the month of October um, by placing a $50 order on um, littletortoisecrafts.ctmh.com. And with a $50 order, you will get this whole stamp set. For five dollars. I'm gonna do the candy cane because the candy cane there isn't a cutout for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that on here. Just having some trouble picking up the ink. Oops. Got a little ink on my wipe that. Just the ink wipes right off. You just have to be kinda careful. Okay, and I'm going to do one more here. I'm going to do this home for the holidays in the cranberry. Go ahead. So I got not being very careful with my ink. Getting it, getting it all over the bottom of the stamp pack, which isn't good when you're stamping. So there's that one. So get that. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and do 
one last one. Might as well use all these stamps. I'm going to do house. It says home for the holidays. I'm going to do that in the green. And, um, of course, my foam pad wasn't right under there, so you just line this up. This is what I like about the clear stamps. You can kind of, if you're careful, line it up and then get the image printed back on there. So we have all the stamps. So now, here's the pick scan map. I haven't even opened it up yet. We're going to take it out of the package. There we go. And it's, this mat is a little bit thicker than our traditional silhouette mats. So I keep bumping the light and making the screen go crazy. So then, as you can see, this mat already has the registration marks. It already has the registration marks on it. So it's already pre-marked. So this is um, this is all done and I have my paper set on here. Get the light. The light's going a little bit crazy in here tonight. So we'll get that put on here. So now that that is done, find the camera you're going to be taking the pictures with. And you can use your phone or any camera, it doesn't matter. And you take the picture. You need to make sure. I'm going to try to scoot this up so you guys can see what I'm doing with the camera and all. You want to have good lighting. So I'll get in position. My lamp. This is the lamp that I use for my silhouette when it's sometimes getting bugged out. Because you want good lighting for for the. Let me load this up. So I think that will about do it. And somebody has also said if you, you know, were to hang, you know, hang the picture up and take a picture straight on, you might actually get a better picture. So I'm going to actually take one like that. I'm going to stand it up. Move my light a little bit so I have a big glare on that thing. So I took two pictures. I took one with it laying down and then I took one straight at it. Um, that just might help us get a better a better angle on the mat for the software to read. Okay, so now we need to go to the Silhouette Studio software and um, this is where things get a little bit confusing but that's okay. I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to get this few steps taken care of so you can get on your way with your big scan mat. Okay, so first of all, you need to make sure that you have the latest version of version 3. So to, to find out what version you have, there's two ways. You can go to this help button, go to About Silhouette Studio, it'll open up this little window, and right here where it says Silhouette Studio Designer Edition Release 3.1.417. You need to at least have 3.1.417 for the pic scan to work because you need this icon right here. So really the tall tell, tell all is if you don't have this sign, then you don't have the latest version and you're going to go need to go to Silhouette America and get that downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to open up the window on the right hand side and you're going to click on import from file. And the first thing we need to do is we need to do camera calibration. Since I have not used the PicScan mat, I don't have my camera calibrated. So you're going to show the calibration test card. There it goes. It pops right up. And then it has all these black little dots on it. 
Next, you're going to need to print this to your printer. So you'll go ahead and click on your printer and go ahead and get it sent there. I did that pre-advanced just to save a little bit of time. And then once you have that printed out, you're going to take a picture of all the little dots. And here's to show you what not to do because this is what I did my first time around. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the picture that I took because I thought it needed to be on the mat. So I put the little dots on the thick scan mat paper and took the picture. And this is what happens. It says the calibration image could not be imported. Retake the photo ensuring the grid of dots is fully spans the entire width of height of the image overlapping at the edge if necessary. Make sure it's evenly lit. It is not blurry. The grid dots horizontally and vertically align to the edges of the photograph. The photograph taken is from a bird's eye view. So up here you can see some of those examples. So they're wanting this right here. So I need to try that again. So of course I tried it again. So we'll go ahead and hit the plus to import a picture. And here's my new picture. So go ahead and open that and get that to come in. And there it goes. It says I took, I used my Olympus camera to take a picture and there it is. So now it has the calibration. So we're good to go on the calibration part. So import from file, whoops, import from file. And then you're going to do import pic scan image from file. So let's click that. And I'm going to do this. I think this one turned out better. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. And here it comes loading the image. And you can see that it's working because it says loading image right here. And we'll just have to cross our fingers and hope that it does. Oh, there it is. It accepted. So we are good. And I guess the one thing I should point out, so as you can see how it pulled it into silhouette, there is um, the square. So you need to make sure your image is within that square. So that's how it kind of crops the image. Because if you can see, there's a little bit of space here where the paper is missing. And also on my mat, there's a little bit of space where the paper's missing. So we are going to go ahead. It is all ready to go. And we can send this to the silhouette. And actually, maybe first we should check. We should, we should check what we're cutting. <laughs> Because as you can see, look, there's nothing cutting here. So let's do cut edge. Oh, well, let me show you how it's really done, I guess. Okay, so if I remember right, I think we're going to need to do some tracing. So let's see. I don't know if I can trace them all at once or not. We're just going to want to trace the outer edge. Oops. That's on do that. Getting ahead of myself. It's been a while since I traced. I'm going to take off the high pass filter. Let's mess with threshold. I think that's good. I think so. And, you know, of course, this is just something you have to kind of play with. Okay, so let's see. We do trace outer edge. All right, so we need to do to do on Google. So the only one that. All right, object release compound app. Let's do that. So we need to get rid of this little zoom in right here. And there's this little hitch here. I'm going to delete those. 
house because I don't want it to cut all that out on the house. So let's try to trace this house one more time. Like I said, learning curve for all of us. So let's just see if we can get this. Just gonna be stuck with this outer with this outer edge and it's gonna cut so this stamp is not gonna work very well to try to get it it's just the way the stamp is Maybe we could do a trace outer edge and then we'll select this. We can do object, release, compound path. And now we can delete this guy. Oops. Selecting all that to delete that stuff. And then I'm going to put the top of the house back on. And I'm trying to think. We can draw some cut lines. So let's zoom into this image so we can see what we're doing. There we go. All right, so we're going to draw some cut lines. I'm going to grab my drawing tool. down like that. Same with this side. I'm just going That's not good. I'm going to go from the bottom on this one, I think. Do right there. Alright. And then Lines, Scott, and we'll just go a little further. Almost just one. Still didn't take sometimes. Is that just a tunnel? All right, zoom out a little bit. Let's go back to our cut lines so we can go about it this way. And it's still not working. So let's try and see if we can. Okay, so that's not working. Um, let's see. Get compound path. Okay, there we go. Sometimes at this late hour, it's pretty late where I am, 
my brain isn't always functioning. Uh, let's try the trace one more time. Uh, maybe not. Still not wanting to do. So we got, we got it to work. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Zoom out. And now we go to cut lines. Ta da! Everything is going to cut nicely. Or should, anyways. We'll cut edge. And we're using the cardstock. sure blade settings are good so we'll get that got that all lined up all right now we're going to come back over to cameo and we're going to load the pigskin mat then we're going to say send to the silhouette and it's going to have to look for those registration marks which hopefully it will find Sometimes registration marks are not my friends. And it's looking like we found nothing. So, I'm going to go ahead and save my file and reopen it. Sometimes that tends to help. And then I will be back and we will try again. Okay, crappy friends, I think we've got this figured out. Um, when you are loading your pick scan mat, make sure you're hitting the load cutting mat. I was accidentally selecting load media. That is where I was having problems with it, registering my marks, I believe. Okay, so let's go ahead and send it to the silhouette, and it should register those marks, getting the top ones. Bottom. And let's see if it will get this upper right one. That's where we were having trouble last time. And I think we're good. And it's going to start cutting. And there we go. It is all cut. On the mat. And let's see what we have here. Uh -oh. Yeah. I don't think I have my blade deep enough. Okay. I'm going to try something that I normally would never do. I'm going to load the cutting mat. And I'm going to recut this. Okay. Um, load this cutting and see. Ah. I think that worked for the most part. Alright. Got that out of the way. Put these set on here so you guys can see them. I'll bring them up to the camera. The only downfall with having my camera mounted to my ceiling is it doesn't come any lower. There are the pieces all cut out. And I would have to say it did a rather good job. So there's a little bit of white left around the edges, but not too bad. So I would have to say overall expanded a pretty good job. If I would have had a little better cutting, it would have done better, but it is what it is. So 
So, there you have it. Stamping with the Cameo and getting nice cuts, cutting that out. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching.